There have been scores of superhero movies and TV shows that have come out in recent years, but when it comes to the ones that just don't hold back, that would be The Boys. This brutal take on superheroes and villains, inspired by the comic of the same name, took the world by storm with its up close and personal story, brutality, and so on. Seasons one and two were huge hits, and as such, season three is going to be even bigger when it arrives. But what things should fans think about seeing in that upcoming season? Join us as we show you 10 things to expect in To The Boys Season 3. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. 10. When is it coming out? Okay, so we know that Season 3 is coming, and the team has already been talking about certain details that we'll get to in a second. But the real question that fans want to know is when it'll air on Amazon Prime. Well, filming accounts on a certain union website state that the filming should start in February 2021 and then end by August. Now, taking into account past seasons of the show, that would likely mean that the third season will air in 2022, as the first two seasons had a 9 and 10 month gap after initial filming was done, which makes sense given the special effects and promotion that needs to be done before the season airs. Granted, that means that the show will be off the air for some time, but that just means it'll be all the better when it finally returns. Plus, there was the pandemic issue that no doubt hurt things and stymied some stuff. <laughs> but if things get back to normal soon, we might not have to wait too much longer for it to return. We'll just have to hold on to hope for that. 9. Congresswoman Victoria Neumann One of the biggest additions to the boys in season 2 was that of Claudia Domit's Congresswoman Victoria Neumann. She was a strong candidate for superhero regulation because of the damage, especially the collateral damage, that they did to the world. Even going up against Homelander and Stormfront at points, and heading an investigation into their antics. But at the end of season 2, we found out the hard way that she is in fact a supervillain, one that has been behind the rash of exploding heads that have been happening all season. The question though is, why? The head exploding happened every time someone was going to reveal something about Vought, which was the source of the superhero serum. So, is she the secret mole, if you will, that is supposed to be protecting the company from too much scrutiny? Or is she a third party that just wants Vought alive for her own nefarious reasons? She's been confirmed to be a serious regular in the next season, and we know that she'll be a huge factor for one person of the boys. 8. Huey's New Life one of the things that made The Boys so special in terms of the TV adaptation is that you couldn't help but feel for Huey. He was someone who was as regular as regular could be, and then, through no fault of his own, he's thrown into this madness with The Seven, Vought, and more. He wanted to get justice for his fallen girlfriend, then he wanted to expose Vought to the world and save Starlight in the process. He's done all of that now, and as we saw in the final scene of season 2, he wants a new life a fresh start, and he thinks it's the best idea ever to go and work for Victoria Neumann. Oops. As the creator of the show confirmed, Huey is going to enjoy his new life, until it all comes flying apart. Which at this point is his MO, but how it'll go down and what it'll lead Huey to do afterward is unclear. 7. The Seven Divided From almost episode 1, it was clear that the Seven were not anything like they appeared, the Deep was a horrible person, Translucent was a pervert, A-Train was an unrepentant junkie, Homelander was psycho, and Queen Maeve was unfeeling. Oh, and there's Black Noir. He was okay for the most part. Anyway, as things broke down, the Seven got more and more fractured, and their true colors continued to rise as things got worse for them. Homelander almost killed Starlight multiple times, but was stopped by Maeve and by Lug. The Deep was kicked out of the Seven and A-Train soon followed, with each trying desperately to get back in. Black Noir was put into a coma by Maeve and, of course, Starlight was a double agent trying to bring Vought down. Stormfront only made things worse as she turned Homelander into basically a Nazi and tried to create a superhero army. By the end of Season 2, the team is more fractured than ever and you can't help but think there's going to be more infighting as the next season goes on. 6. Soldier Boy a very cool element of the boys is the lore, one that is very deep and expansive in various ways. A perfect example of this is Soldier Boy, who was the first official superhero that Vought ever made. He's a ripoff of Captain America, if you can't tell, and he was the predecessor to Homelander in terms of his visual presence to America and its interests. We know for a fact that Soldier Boy will be in Season 3, and 
Just as important, he's going to be a bit different from the comics, not the least of which is because he'll be played by Jensen Ackles of Supernatural fame, which just ended its 15-year run this year. Eric Kripke describes this character as the very first superhero. He'll bring so much humor, pathos, and danger to the role. Which is obviously something we can't wait to see happen because the character will bring a new dynamic that the show needs. Though it won't be the only dynamic changing. 5. The Butcher Tamed? For the first two seasons of the show, Billy Butcher has had one goal, kill Homelander because of what he did to his wife. Even when his wife was found, the mission didn't truly change, but at the end of season two with his wife truly dead and her son now in protective custody, as well as Homelander feeling the loss of a loved one, Butcher has gotten his justice, or at least as much as he can get. By the end of the season, he walked off and went who knows where. The boys are done, for now. And even though he got an offer to continue monitoring the soups, you have to wonder if he'll take it, or try and stop being the butcher and live a life that his wife wanted him to live. 4. Homelander Unhinged Yeah, Homelander in many ways is one of the souls of the story, not the least of which is that he's the most powerful being in the world, that we know of, and after season 2, he's just PO'd. We see him forced to welcome back Starlight into the Seven while also condemning Stormfront, whom if you recall he was seriously in love with, for her actions. According to the team, Homelander is going to go full psycho in this next season. But how much he'll do and how that'll connect to the boys is unclear. Though if the bell is rung, they'll answer it. 3. Frenchie and the Female Another divergence from the comics is that of Frenchie and the Female. In the comics, they were just friends, but in season 2 they're blossoming into a much bigger relationship, including Frenchie learning how to talk with Kimiko. Now that they're free from their fugitive status, they can finally try and just live life and enjoy each other's company. But whether that'll last, well, that's another story entirely. 2. Starlight's Path Starlight has been the hero that you honestly rooted for in regards to the soups. She was a pure heart, a pure spirit, and the moment she entered the Seven, she just got dumped on from all sides. It wasn't until she and Huey got together that she felt better about her life, and even then things just rained down upon her. However, now that Vought was exposed, Stormfront was stopped and Maeve is on her side, Starlight likely now feels she can truly try and be a hero again. A true hero. Hopefully that will happen. But… 1. Darker Forces Escalation is a key element in these series about beings with powers, and as the world of the boys has shown us, there are all sorts of dark elements out there. We know there are supervillains now because of Homelander's actions, as well as rogue elements like Victoria Neumann and Cindy, aka the boys version of Eleven, from the experiment facility. And who knows what other heroes or villains will pop up. Plus, Vought is still in power, and they're gonna want to take down those who brought them down a peg. So what machinations will they put forth? It's hard to say, but it'll be exciting to find out. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the boys season 3 and how everything could turn out? What do you think will happen as things develop in the season? Which characters do you hope get breakout moments? Which do you think will happen with the plot overall? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.